So what's up everyone, thanks again for tuning in to the Wheeler Detailers YouTube channel. My name is Martin and Megan is behind the camera. In this video I'm going to show you our latest Decon Delta Fiber Pro polishing pads. We have them in grey or with a grey interface layer, of course, and with a yellow interface layer, which is fine. We have them available in 130 uh, millimeter diameter and in 75 uh, millimeter diameter um, so in this video I'm gonna give you a, a full explanation uh, how microfiber pads work why do they function in a certain way that they do um, yeah so stick around until the end to uh, see the results here we go step one determine the paint thickness with a paint thickness gauge put it on the paint 80 microns, 81 microns, 87 microns, 82 microns, 72 microns. This kind of paint thickness I would determine out of my own experience as a pretty thin paint. With a thin paint you always want to polish, if you want to polish, as safely and gently as possible. And this is why on thin paints, uh, microfiber pads are a really good choice to work with. Here we have in 130 millimeter size, our Decon Delta foam polishing pads. After a lot of testing, we took the gray foam and the yellow foam for the gray coarse polishing uh, pad and the yellow, the medium polishing pad. Only the foam interface layer is thinner as the normal delta pad. Normally it's 25 millimeters, in this case it's 15 millimeters. It's much thicker as you see with other microfiber polishing pads and it has a reason. So the reason is the thinner the foam interface layer is and also the type of acrylic glue they use to attach the microfibers and to attach the velcro on the other side. Uh, the thinner it is, the more the pad wears off. And it's not an exception that you need multiple pads to only polish one car if you choose for microfiber pads. We tested a lot and we determined a lot and we learned a lot and therefore we chose to have a thicker foam interface layer and with that you have more durability out of the pad. So in this case, with this kind of hardness of pad, and with this kind of hardness of pad, you can easily do one and a half to two cars before the pads wear off. Normally, with a foam pad, the pad stays relatively cool, but the surface gets really, really, really hot, especially if you work orbital on five to 6,000 RPM. And with microfiber pads, you're gonna twist and you're gonna change this heat moment the other way around. So in this case, the pads get really warm and the surface, surface stays relatively cool which is much safer for the paint surface. And with that reason, it's a really good choice if you have thin paints or you have special paints that are also relatively thin, more or less any type of application that you don't want to take the risk of burning the paint. So to make a good 50-50 comparison, I'm gonna tape off one part of the bonnet of the Peugeot 107.
after measuring the paint, I always like to feel with my fingers or with my nails. Oh, that's a terrible sound over the paint. I do see a lot of marring that comes from the clay mat. Just after washing, I completely clayed the whole car. Which is this grayish kind of shimmer. There I see some burned in, burned in bird poop rests here and here. And here we see a deeper scratch, which I actually can feel with the edge of my nail. It sounds terrible. Um, I see some white parts here. Uh, this is already the primer that we see here, so I probably cannot uh, cannot repair this, at least not with polishing. But this type of rest of the scratch I can probably do some wonders on. So, to choose first, I'm going to use the grey course pad with the Manzana 400 polish. Put the Decon Fiber Pro course pad on the backing plate of, in this case, the Big 15 polisher. Then prime the pad with some diluted Orange Eco Waterless Wash. Versatile to use also as a pad primer or as a quick detailer. Then apply the Manzana 400 on the pad. Approximately four dots. As large as a green pea. Tip on the polish evenly over the surface. Make sure the machine is on setting one. And pull the accelerator to switch it on and immediately push the automatic button or cruise control button. And spread out the polish. When polish is evenly spread over the surface, I'm gonna work on the Manzana 400 polish until this film layer shimmer is as dry as possible and with an orbital movement with a slow arm speed and on setting five on the polisher it will probably take me six to eight movements to have it clear We saw some hard treat areas here and here, so instead of uh, keeping on trying, I'm going to switch to the 75mm pad on the Kraus S75 dual action polisher. This one. I'm also going to prime it and give it a little bit of polish. There's still some polish there on the paint. Just two small dots. Start on setting one. And I'm gonna switch up to setting five. I'm gonna polish until it's clear again.
So let's grab a microfiber towel and wipe off the excess material. Sometimes on warm days with Manzerna, it's not good doesn't go super easy but it really helps if you prime your towel a little bit again orange eco diluted 1 to 15 works wonders for that and it helps you really on to uh, helps you really good to uh, get that cake down polish off of the paint surface so this was only one step the course step The grey course pad and the Menzena 400, the Menzena 2500 comes. So, I already primed the pad with Orange Eco. Make sure the machine is on setting one. Tip it over the surface. There's hardly any residue anymore on the paint, so it's time to uh, give it a wipe. I'm gonna take a second microfiber towel and I'm gonna spray in a little bit of alcohol, IPA to make sure and also show to you that we didn't cover up. So if we use some strong petroleum based polishes, it maybe look really, really beautiful, but then after doing the IPA wipe down or washing it five times, you will probably see all those swirls back again. So let's check if that's the case with the Manzerna 400 and 2500 combo. Nope all staying in shape which is good we wiped everything down the results are awesome and they stay that way after the ipa wipe down but you would not leave your pads overnight like this because polish will cake in into the microfibers which is super ugly and then the next day everything is hard and it will be much more difficult to clean. So directly after use put it in the pad washer or in the sink as you go. Ta-da! And we, they can dry overnight, and then tomorrow we can reuse them again.
So those were three easy steps to remove a lot of heavy swirl marks on this part of the bonnet. I'm gonna finish the rest of the car later. Um, as well as uh, cleaning the pads afterwards so we can reuse them again as from the next session. Um, to sum it all up, what did we do today? I'll explain to you the difference between the Delta foam pads and the Delta Pro fiber pads. If you use them like this and you uh, rinse after use, you will be happy with the longevity and the durability in the pads. Um, and it helps you to polish a lot safer on thin paints or on special paints. So, I hope you liked this video. If you didn't do it already, please hit the like button. And while you're here, also subscribe to the Wheel of Details YouTube channel. And then uh, also hit the bell icon so every time that we do an upload, we get notified ASAP. Thanks for watching. See you guys and girls in the next one. Bye-bye.